When structures move too much under dynamic loads, like the wind, we can install a tune mass damper at TMD to control their motion. A TMD is a mechanical device that's installed uh, at the top of a building, typically, and when the building begins to move, this device will lag behind the motion of the structure and it applies forces that continually oppose the motion of the structure, and we can get large reductions in the structural accelerations or deflections. A TMD is a mechanical device, and it's composed of a bunch of different mechanical components could be sliders or rails, could be cables, could be springs, could be viscous damping devices or some other sort of damping element. In the real world, all of these different components will possess some level of friction. When we have friction in a TMD, that's a real world TMD, we need to accommodate its friction because friction does two things. One, it will add a little bit of additional damping to the damper which we need to accommodate. And secondly, it can actually lock out the motion of the TMD. Under very light wind events, you might not have a lot of motion of the structure. And in that case, you might not overcome the forces of friction. So as a result, your TMD might not move at all, which will drastically affect its performance. So friction can have a dramatic effect on the performance of a TMD. If the friction is adding additional damping to the damper, well, we need to accommodate this because that's going to move us away, perhaps, from the optimal level of damping that we want in the TMD. Or if the friction has locked out the TMD, it's not moving relative to the structure. And in that case, it's not adding any supplementary damping performance to that structure at all. Even a small amount of friction can have a dramatic impact on the performance of a TMD. The easiest way to quantify the level of friction that's acceptable is probably to understand at what level of structural acceleration does the TMD overcome the forces of friction. We found that we probably want the forces of friction in the TMD to be overcome at one-tenth the acceleration that we're trying to control. So if we're trying to control a structural acceleration of 10 millig, or that's 10 one thousandths of gravitational acceleration, then we would probably want the TMD to overcome friction at a force no greater than about one millig. So that corresponds to a coefficient of friction of 0 0.001 for that TMD. My name is Shane Love. Thanks for watching.